Hi, I'm Lori, and I write the blog Mississippi Kitchen, and this is my daughter Amber. And today we're making Biscoff banana cannoli sandwiches at, for the Biscoff Lunch Envy Challenge. And this is a super easy recipe. There are five ingredients. It's very kid friendly, and uh, it comes together really quickly. So we've got you're going to need bananas, Biscoff spread. Um, like a whole grain cereal. We're using a banana nut crunch today. You can use whatever you want. You're going to need ricotta cheese and we're going to need these, um, they sell them in the store, uh, sandwich rounds. They're like a round thin bread and they come in whole wheat or whole grain or honey wheat and I've got the whole grain today just to kind of bump up the nutrition a little bit. So the first thing that we're going to do, and your kids could help you with this, they would love doing this, is I'm just going to take half of a round, half of a roll, and then I'm just going to roll it out with a rolling pin until it's really thin, and I'm just, like I'm making a cannoli shell. This is basically taking the place of the cannoli shell. Which is our inspiration for exactly. this little lunch. Cannolis. We love cannolis. We love so. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'm going to take our cereal, which is banana nut crunch, um, and take just a few spoonfuls. You don't have to measure. It's you know not a big deal, especially you know if you make lunch right. for in the morning with for your kids and you're running out of time. You don't want to have to measure a bunch of stuff. Exactly. So I'm going to okay, you go. you're gonna crush, um, crush these really finely, and I'm gonna start spreading our biscoff on our on our sandwich round, and I'm gonna use about a tablespoon. And I'm, I'm just going to pour the rest of my cereal in this shallow dish. I'm just going to spread this all the way to the edges. And it comes together really quick. Now I'm going to do um, a table, about a tablespoon of, of ricotta cheese. And I'm going to get you to cut a banana for me. That's right. I'm just going to peel this banana and just cut it in half. Yeah, and I'm Simple. just spreading this ricotta over the biscoff. And it's okay to come to, for it to come all the way to the edge because I'm going to show you why you want that to happen. Alright, so move this. Okay, so now we're going to take half of our banana and put it in the center. And then we're just going to kind of wrap our sandwich around it. And we're going to kind of press the filling out just a little bit. So it kind of oozes out. It, yeah, it's okay if it oozes out a little bit. And then what you're going to do, because you know cannolis are dipped in like nuts or chocolate chips or sprinkles, we're going to just dip this for some extra nutrition and crunch in the cereal. Just coat everywhere where it's leaking out. And, and if it, you didn't want to do uh, cereal, you could do nuts. Yeah, nuts um, would be walnuts good. Walnuts or peanuts for more protein for your sandwich. And there you go. And that's it. And they would any. This would be the envy of the lunchroom. And her little boy, my grandson, he's two years old. He just he loves these. And. And they're super fun, and he's two, so it's super fun for even a two-year-old to yeah. help you with. And I like um, I like wrapping these, wrapping these instead of putting them in a plastic bag. I like wrapping them if I'm gonna send them off in lunch. I like wrapping them in deli paper. I think they stay a little bit fresher. You could just put that in the lunch box, and they're good to go. So, do you want to try one? Sure. Okay. We hope you try this recipe. Mm -hmm. Good. It's good. <laughs> Very good.